Um, today's sermon is about get, are you ready? And it seems like we're not ready right now. <laughs> but anyway, if you would turn your Bibles to First First Thessalonians chapter four, we're going to be speaking out of the, the last portion of that. And I will be reading in English, and Pastor will be reading it in Spanish before we, we preach. All right. Chapter 4, verse 13 starts with this. It says, Brothers, do not... Do not want, you, we do not want you to be ignorant about those who fall asleep or to grieve like the rest of men who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's own words, we tell you that we who are still alive and are left till the coming of the Lord will certainly, certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command or a loud shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of the call of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage each other with these words. Poco queremos, 1 Tesalonicenses capítulo 4, versículo 13, dice así, Tampoco queremos, hermanos, que ignoréis acerca de los que duermen, para que no os entristezcáis como los otros que no tienen esperanza. Porque si creemos que Jesús murió y resucitó, así también traerá a Dios con Jesús a los que durmieron en él. Por lo cual decimos esto en palabra del Señor, que nosotros que vivimos, que habremos quedado hasta la venida del Señor, no procederemos a los que durmieron, porque el Señor mismo con voz de mando, con voz de arcángel y con trompeta de Dios descenderá del cielo y los muertos en Cristo resucitarán primero. Luego nosotros los que vivimos, los que hayamos quedado, seremos arrebatados juntamente con ellos en las nubes para recibir al Señor en el aire y así estaremos siempre con el Señor. Por tanto, alentamos unos a los otros con estas palabras. Amén. Let God, let's pray and ask God's blessing on the Lord Jesus. Father, we just thank you for the time that we're going to spend in your word. Father, I pray that the words that we speak would bring comfort and encouragement to your people. Bless each one of us, I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, you may be seated. So I was, uh, as I was preparing for today, the Holy Spirit uh, changed what I was about to speak on. And I've been praying and teaching and encourage you to bring people to church. Atraer, atraer gente a la and to be light into your community. Para hacer una luz a nuestra comunidad. Uh, share with the poor. Compartir con el pobre. the needy. A ayudar a los necesitados. Comfort the brokenhearted. A ayudar a los quebrantados de corazón. And been preaching that way. He estado predicando de esa manera. For for quite a while. Por un tiempo. And yesterday. Y ayer. As I was going through the sermon, the Holy Spirit reminded me how important it is that we be ready for Jesus' return. And I thought to myself, maybe if we were in the perfect church, we'd be ready. So this morning, I would like to describe to you the perfect church. How many think you're in a perfect church? How many, are, how many think there, there is a perfect church? Is there a perfect church somewhere? We're still searching for a perfect church? 
Let's talk about a perfect church. Hablemos acerca de la iglesia perfecta. I think Yo creo a perfect church que una iglesia perfecta has a people tiene personas that love God. Que aman a Dios. Amen. Amen. Not on just Sunday, no solamente el domingo, but on Monday, pero el lunes, in their home, en sus casas, by themselves, cuando están ellos solos, they seek after God. Ellos buscan a Dios. Yes. Amen. Or if they have a problem, y si tienen un problema, the, the family in the church, de la, la familia, or in the home, I'm sorry, en la casa, would uh, pray together. Oran juntos. The husband, los esposos, would love his wife. Ama a sus esposas. Yes. Never yelling. Nunca le gritan. Always providing. Siempre están proveyendo. Amen. We'll do the laundry. Hacemos, dice la, la, la ropa. La ropa. <laughs> uh, cleaning the dishes after dinner. Limpiando los, los platos después de la comida. Walking the dog. Llevando el perro a caminar. Just like, and the wife. Y la esposa. The, the, the perfect wife. La esposa perfecta. Love their husband. Ama sus esposos. Honor them. Los honra. Serve them. Les sirve. Come on, wives. Don't Vamos smile at me. <laughs> it's in the word of God. Es en la palabra de Dios. <laughs> um, take care of the children. Te cuidar los niños. Peace in the home. Paz en la casa. Amen. Amen. Neighbor comes to your house. Un vecino viene a su casa. Knocks on the door. Toca la puerta. Need some help. Necesita ayuda. You don't hesitate. You help. Y usted them. no lo piensa. Usted le ayuda. And then you come. Y entonces usted viene, regresa. To a worship service like this. A un servicio de adoración como este. Worship God together. Y adoramos al Señor juntos. Right. Pero our, our, we think nothing about the anything that's going on. No pensamos acerca de nada de lo que está sucediendo. We just focus on Jesus. Y nos enfocamos solamente en we Jesús. Honor God. Honramos a Dios. We worship Him. Lo adoramos. We love Him. Lo amamos. Amen. And we take that love. Y tomamos ese amor. That we receive from Him. Que recibimos de él. And we take it to the world. Y lo llevamos al mundo. Amen. Amen. Perfect church. Amen. La iglesia right. perfecta. Everybody's happy. Todo el mundo está feliz. Joyful. Está contento. No. No uh, persecution. No hay persecución. Right? Just happy all the time. Solo está contenta todo el tiempo. The joy of the Lord. El gozo del Señor. Is our strength. The word of God. The perfect church. La iglesia perfecta. Amen. Amen. Love, love your brothers and sisters in Christ. Ame sus hermanos en Cristo. Love those of different cultures and different Todos nations. Que hay, ame que de diferentes culturas, diferentes naciones. Love, just love people. Just ame a la gente. The perfect church. <laughs> la iglesia perfecta. <laughs> yes. Sí. Marie is in a lot of pain right now. Yeah. So she's having to pray for her. Yes. So she was what she wanted to know. Yes, Marie. and yeah, and tell her at the end of service we'll do that. So just tell her to come in here. And the, right now, just tell all those people come in here, and let's, that's where you're supposed to be. Well, Maria is uh, has cancer, and so she has a lot of pain. Maria tenía cancer. We pray for her this morning. We want to continue to pray for her. Richard, if you can help them. And uh, this is where they need to be, to hear the word of God. Just for a few minutes. And then at the end, I told her at the end of service, we'll pray for her. Hallelujah. We have, we believe in the healing power of God. Amen. Creemos en el poder Just like Noah got healed, Amen. we believe God touched Noah, and we believe God healed him. We believe God can heal Maria. Matter of fact, the truth of the matter is, Maria was healed. Maria sido sanada. We she went to the doctors about a year ago, and no cancer in her body. Hace un año, so God did that, no and cancer. we believe God can do it again. Amen. How many believe with me? To the perfect church, brother. La iglesia perfecta, hermano. Where God's people can come. Donde el pueblo de Dios puede venir. With the sick, the homeless, the needy. And they come and they receive from God. Y reciben de Dios. Not from me or you. No de ninguno de nosotros. But from God, amen. De Dios. That's how God does things. Eso es como Dios hace las cosas. We as a church, to be a perfect church, I would think, we'd have that faith. Para to trust God, perfecta iglesia tenemos que tener fe en Dios y confiar en él. That he would do what he said he would do. Que él hará lo que él ha dicho que hará. Amen. Amen. I believe that. Yo no creo eso. eso. Because he does it. He did it in the, the Old Testament. Porque he did it in New Testament. Él lo hizo en el He's Dios doing Dios it today. He's going to do it tomorrow. He's going to continue to do it. Because we, have, we believe that he can do it. 
y lo hará en el futuro porque creemos que él lo hará. Aleluya. This church in, in First Thessalonians. Esta iglesia en Primera de Tesalónica. Church at Thessalonica. La iglesia de Tesalónica. Uh, were were uh, uh, encouraged. Estaba siendo animada. Because of their goodness. Por las cosas buenas que ellos hacían. If we go back to verse chapter one, verse two. Y si pasamos al versículo uno, versículo dos. I'm not going to say this is the perfect church. No voy a decir que esta es la iglesia perfecta. But they were pretty close. Pero estaban muy cerca. Look at verse two. It says, "We always thank God for all of you." Mentioning you in our prayers, we continually remember before our God and Father your works produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Damos siempre gracias a Dios por todos vosotros haciendo memoria de vosotros en nuestras oraciones, acordándonos sin cesar delante de Dios y Padre nuestro de la obra de vuestra fe y del trabajo de vuestro amor y de vuestra constancia en la esperanza en nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Amen. So this look, I can say when I was reading this, I thought maybe this is kind of like the perfect church. Now, how many can agree with me? Before I go further, that this building is not the church. No es la iglesia. This is a building that we gather at. That we worship in together. That we love each other. Right? But the church is you. And me. The people. So wherever we gather, the word church means gathering. So wherever we gather, We gather in the name of Jesus. Nos en el de Jesús. That's the church. En la iglesia. Now I want to remind you of one thing. Quiero If you are algo. part of the church, you have si, to believe this. Si usted es parte de esta iglesia, tiene que creer esto. Do you remember when Peter told Jesus that you are the Son of God? Recuerda cuando Pe eh, Jesucristo le dijo. And Jesus said to Peter. Pedro dijo a, a Jesús, tú eres el hijo de Dios. Upon this truth. Dijo, sobre esta verdad. I'm going to build my church. Voy a reconstruir mi iglesia. So at a minimum, we have to believe Nosotros tenemos que creer como that Jesus, que Jesus is es the Son of God. El Hijo de Dios. Amen. Amen. We have to believe that tenemos que creer with all our heart, con todo nuestro with all our soul, con todo nuestro mente, and everything that's within us, y todo lo que está de that nosotros, Jesus, que Jesus was in the beginning que en el principio, with God. Estaba con Dios. And then he came to earth. Y que vino a la God tierra. himself. Dios en mí. Jesus. Jesus. Came through a virgin. Vino a través de la virgen. And was born a human being. Y nació como un ser humano. Born a human being. Y fue nacido como un ser humano. That's why we say Emmanuel. Y es por eso que decimos Emmanuel. God is with us. Dios está con nosotros. And that human being grew up just like you and I did. Y ese ser humano creció como usted y yo hemos crecido. And died. Y murió. On a Suffered a terrible death y murió una muerte tan terrible on the cross for you and me. Por usted y por mí. And if we believe that, y si nosotros creemos, we also have to believe the rest of the word. Entonces, que that la, says la, we have a hope that this Jesus que este Jesús is coming back. Va a and that right now, y que ahora, he's making a way for us. Está un Praying, para interceding, like we said last week, como dijimos la semana pasada, an intersection la intersección for each of us to have a relationship nos lleva a a tener with God's Father. Con he's Dios praying. Padre. Porque él está orando for you and me. Por usted y por mí. Hallelujah. The perfect church. La iglesia perfecta. This church here, they loved each other, they cared for each other. Esta iglesia se amaba, se preocupaba por ellos. They ellos. provided for each other. Y pro proveían para ellos. They gave each other hope. Y se dieron esperanza unos con otros. Well, Paul then said to them. Y Pablo le dijo a ellos. I want to give you a final instruction. Te voy a dar una instrucción final. And this is the instruction I want to give to you today. Y esta es la instrucción que yo le voy a dar a usted hoy. Even though we might be doing good things, amen. Que estamos haciendo cosas buenas. We buenas. love Jesus. Amamos a Jesús. The the preacher, you and me. Los predicadores nosotros. Have to uh, help warn you. Tenemos que advertirles a ustedes. Because when Jesus comes back, cuando Jesucristo regrese, we want to go with him. Queremos irnos con él. Amen. Amen. When Amen. we stand before God, cuando nosotros estemos delante de Dios, como el juez, 
We want to hear him say to you. Queremos que nos diga. Well done. Bien hecho. My good and faithful servant. Mi siervo fiel. There's no other the uh, the uh, how can I say if if we don't stand before him and he say my good and faithful servant, then he's going to say to you, I never knew you. Y si nosotros no hacemos lo que nos ha mandado a hacer, entonces él va a decir no, a ustedes no los conozco. And the Bible plainly tells us that our destination is hell. Light separated from God. Separado de la voluntad de Dios. So Paul, in his final, final penning these final words to this church, gave this warning. Y le estaba advirtiendo a él. Y yo se los quiero dar a ustedes hoy. Not as, um, a way to make you feel bad, no como una manera de hacerlo sentir mal, but a way to encourage you una manera de to continue the fight siga as a believer in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because right now in this world, ahora en este mundo, everything will tell you todo lo, todo le va a decir a usted that your intelligence, que su your success, su éxito, your finances, sus finances is, and all the things that you have y todas las cosas que usted are more important son más importantes than a relationship with God. que una relación con Dios. It's not true. Eso no es verdad. It's not true. Eso no es verdad. You can be the richest person in the world. Usted puede ser la persona más rica en este mundo. Or the most neediest. O la persona que necesita más. We all need Jesus. Todos necesitamos a Jesús. Amen. 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 We all need Jesus. Todos necesitamos a Jesús. This word is for everyone. Esta palabra es para todos. Now let's, in your Bibles, turn to chapter 4 again. Pase siempre ahí en primera persona, en el 4. And we're going to go through this last part of chapter, the first part of chapter 4 and then I'm going to close with a, with a prayer of blessing over you and then we're going to share communion together before we go downstairs okay? this is a really important part because it's a, a warning for us to make sure things are right in our hearts en nuestro corazón, between us and God. Entre y Dios. Amen. Amen. So look at verse 1. It says, Fin finally, brothers, how to live in order to please God. Now how many want to know how to please God? Cuando quieres saber cómo hacer contento a Dios. Really nice. As in fact you are living. You say this because it's a good church, remember? Now we ask you and urge you in the Lord Jesus to do this more and more. So what are you going to do more and more? Love each other? Love people? Love God? Give to the needy? Help the hurting? Amen? Help give comfort to the broken heart? Help the orphans? Help the fatherless? These are things that we should do. Verse 2. For you know of what instructions we gave you by the authority of Jesus Christ. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should avoid sexual immorality. So we said sanctified. Porque ya sabéis que instrucciones os dimos por el Señor Jesús, pues la voluntad de Dios es nuestra santificación, que os apartéis de fornicación. So what does this word sanctified mean? ¿Y qué esa palabra de santificación quiere decir? A very a simple explanation. Esto es una simple explicación. Is that we're separated. Es que estamos separados. For God's purpose. Del propósito de Dios. Amen. Estamos separados para el propósito that de Dios. That our our identity. Que nuestra identidad. Is not with the world. No es con el mundo. But our identity. Pero nuestra identidad. Is with Jesus. Es con Jesús. Amen. Amen. Says now this gives him, he gives a really simple instruction here that will help us muy simples, que nos a to overcome para sobrepasar the things of this world. Las cosas de este mundo. So sin won't enter our minds or sin won't enter our hearts and then we'll be left behind. Now I'm not, I didn't write these words. Yo no estas palabras. Uh, Timothy wrote these. Timoteo las Silas palabras. wrote these. Paul wrote these words by instruction of the Holy Spirit. Now look what it says here in verse 4. Verse 3 says that you should avoid sexual immorality. Now how many know sexual problems have been from the beginning of time? All the way from Genesis we read stories. All the way to today people struggle with this issue. Yes? True. Young teenagers, young children, uh, 
Internet pornography. Miren pornografía. Just things that are not healthy. Cosas que no son sanas. With our relationship with Jesus. Con nuestra relación con Jesucristo. So he's they warn us here. Y él nos está advirtiendo aquí. Be careful about those things. Y tiene que tener cuidado acerca de estas cosas. Verse 4. El versículo 4. That each of you should learn to control his own body in a way that is holy and honorable. Que cada uno de vosotros sepa tener su propia esposa en santidad. I'm saying this to the, the single people and the married people. En las personas que están. Young and the old alike. Los que están solteros y los que están casados. God wants your body to be holy and honorable. Y debe mantener ese cuerpo honrado del Señor. Verse 5 says, not in passionate lust. El versículo 5 dice, no en pasión de concupiscencia. Like the heathens. Como los gentiles. Who do not know God. Que no conocen a Dios. So there's a distinction. Hay una distinción. That God places here. Que, que Dios le agrada. In our bodies. En nuestros cuerpos. In our sexual desires. En nuestros deseos sexuales. We should not be like the world. Que no tenemos que ser como el mundo. We should be pure. Debemos estar puros. And holy. Y santos. Not only in our actions. Evitando en nuestras but acciones. But in our thoughts. Pero en nuestras mentes. Everybody say amen. Todo el mundo diga amen. All right, good. All right. This is hard stuff. Esto es algo duro. But we have to control this flesh. Pero debemos de controlar esta carne. Our flesh is what pulls us away from God. Y esta carne es lo que nos saca our de la humanidad. Our desires, our human bodies, are strong. Son fuertes. And it, it sometimes turns us away. Pero a veces nos saca de la from purity and holiness. De la santidad que Dios demanda. Say amen. Diga amen. All right, you're with me. Está usted conmigo. Okay, let's go on. Sigamos. It, it gets better. It gets better. Va a ser mejor. Verse six, and that in is the in this matter, no one should uh, wrong his brother or take advantage of him. So it says we shouldn't take advantage of our brother or sister either. No debemos tomar ventaja de nuestros hermanos y hermanas tampoco. Right? Don't don't use them. No no los use a ellos. Don't don't use your boss. I no think usted a su jefe. if you're an employer and you have employees, you should treat them well. Si usted es un I think you debe tratarlos a ellos bien a sus empleados. And if you work for somebody, I think you si should work for them. Debe trabajar para ellos. As unto God, don't take advantage of your no, employer. No tome ventaja de su empleado. Don't steal pencils and crayons. No se robe los crayones ni los lápices. You know, work a whole eight hour day. O trabaje las ocho horas al día. Right? Don't take breaks. When you're not supposed to. No tome break cuando no debería tomar. Because what you're doing, you'd be an example. Porque usted lo que está haciendo está siendo un ejemplo de Jesús a ellos. Amen. And when you do good works, if you just hace buenas cosas, and they know you're a Christian, y si ellos saben que usted es cristiano, a believer in Jesus, un creyente en Jesús, they're gonna say, wow, there's something special about those people. Hay algo especial acerca de esas personas. They do a good job. Ellos hacen buen trabajo. I'm gonna hire them again. Yo lo voy a contratar a ellos otra vez. Is that right? Está bien. I remember when I learned this as a young Christian. Yo recuerdo cuando yo era un cristiano joven. I was a, a marine. I was in the Marine Corps. Yo estaba en el en el era un marín en la militar. And um, I, I read that I'm supposed to do my work. Y yo eh, tenía que hacer as unto God. Como lo está lo estaría haciendo hacia Dios. It changed my whole thinking. Y eso cambió toda la manera de pensar. Because now when I go to work. Porque ahora cuando yo voy a trabajar, I want to honor Jesus, yo quiero honrar a Jesús. And I don't just take time off like the rest of the guys. Y no quiero tomar tiempo como, I'm different. como el resto de las personas. Yo soy diferente. And I didn't look for recognition, pero yo no miré por reconocimiento. But it came. Pero vino. Over and over and over. Una vez y otra vez. I was vino. promoted and yo fui recognized for the good work I did. Por el buen trabajo que yo estaba haciendo. Because of my honoring Jesus. Porque yo estaba honrando al Señor. Amen. Amen. All right, let's finish up this in verse 7. For, for God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life. Porque no nos ha llamado Dios. Therefore, he who rejects this instruction that does not reject man, but God. Así que el que desecha esto, no desecha a so go back and read this today. Lea esto otra vez. Verse 1 through verse 7. Versículo 1 hasta versículo Some instruction 9. from God. Y son instrucciones de Dios. He says, if you reject this instruction, si usted esta instrucción, you're, not rejection, you're not rejecting Paul or Silas or Timothy who wrote this, a Santo, a Simón, a Silas, a Pablo, but you're rejecting God Pero himself, está rechazando a Dios, who gave this instruction él dio estas by the Holy Spirit. Por el 
Espíritu Santo. Now is the Holy Spirit here today? El Espíritu Santo está aquí hoy, les pregunto. Is he in your heart? Él está en su corazón hoy. Is he inside you? Está dentro de usted. Yes. Sí. And he will guide you. Y él lo guiará. When it comes to making the right decision. Tiene que tomar usted una decisión correcta. Now I'm going. Last two verses. I'm going to do is nine through eleven. Okay. Voy a leer otro otro versículo de nueve al once. Or three verses. Now about brotherly love. Now, after this instruction about being pure and holy, doing the right thing, obeying God, he says, "Now about brotherly love." He says, "We do not need to write to you yourself. You have been taught by God to love each other, and in fact, you do all the brother. Uh, you do love all the brothers throughout Macedonia. Yet we urge you, brothers, to do it more and more." Pero acerca del amor fraternal no tenéis necesidad de que os escriba, porque vosotros mismos habéis aprendido de Dios que os améis unos a otros. He says, do it more and more, love people more and more. Ame más. How many can say I love everybody? ¿Cuántos de ustedes pueden decir yo amo a todo el mundo? Man, I'm trying my hardest. Yo estoy tratando. You know, as your pastors, como pastores, I, I want, I say, I say, um, say to myself, I say, I, digo, can, I have to love these people. Yo, I have yo to tengo love que that amar. person. Yo tengo que amar esa persona. And if I'm going to stand up here and tell you to love more and more, y si yo le voy a decir que ame más, I need to love more and more. Amen. Amar más y más. Amen. And it's, it's sometimes it takes a little effort, but I can't. Pero I a veces toma un poco de esfuerzo. Because I believe God wants to see our love for one another. Porque Dios quiere que el amor. He wants to use our love for one another. Que el amor por los unos por los otros. To let the world know. Para que el mundo se dé cuenta. How much He loves them. Cuánto él los ama. We will be a great example to the world. Somos un gran ejemplo para. Because we love each other, care for each other. Porque nos eh, preocupamos los unos por los otros. Amen. The last part says, make it your ambition to lead a quiet life, to mind your own business. How many can do that? ¿Cuántos pueden hacer eso? Lo que I, lo don't, you just, don't you just love the word of God sometimes? No, vamos que a veces la palabra de Dios a veces. Gets, it just gets right down to the heart of the matter so quickly. Ha sido en el corazón de, de la says, maybe because I have to be, be my, maybe it's because he's saying to me I need to mind my own business. O porque tal vez porque dice que tengo que estar en el negocio. But tell us how we should do that. So what does that mean? Pero qué es lo que quiere decir lo que tenemos que hacer? I, I should gossip or talk about somebody I don't know anything about. Yo no debería ponerme chismear de alguien que yo no debería or, hacer. Or if you hear a rumor about something si or someone, algo de alguien, maybe we should repeat that rumor o no de until we find algo. out the truth. Hasta que no tenemos la verdad. Amen. Amen. We should do that. We should just Make sure that we're not saying things about people that will be cutting them down. No deberíamos de decir cosas que van a traer a cada persona abajo. Or making fun of them. O hacer chistes de esa persona. We should love them. Debemos amarlos. So again, another warning. Otra says, advertencia. And we should work with our hands. I just forgot this before. I said that before about working. Just as we told you, so that your daily life may win the respect of the outsiders. And so that you will not be dependent on anybody. Y dice el once y que procuréis tener tranquilidad y ocuparos de vuestros negocios y trabajar con vuestras manos de la manera que os hemos mandado, a fin de que os conduzcáis honradamente para con los de afuera y no tengáis necesidad de nada. Hallelujah. I think. Yo, yo creo, pastor. A lot of some people have needs, <laughs> and they need help. <laughs> and I think we should help them. <laughs> But it also says that you should work daily so you can have what you need. <laughs> so if you're capable, do what you can to work so you don't have to depend on other people. <laughs> Amen. Then he encouraged them y luego él los anima about his coming. Acerca de su venida. The perfect church. La iglesia perfecta. What does it look like? ¿Cómo se mira la iglesia perfecta? Some instruction here today. Some hay instrucciones aquí hoy. Uh, sexual immorality. Eh, sexual immorality. Eh, cuando usted no tiene ganas de hacer cosas.
the perfect church. La iglesia perfecta. I, let me tell you what I think a perfect church is. Déjeme decirle lo que creo acerca de la iglesia perfecta. That we do what Jesus instructed us to do. Lo que Jesús nos instruyó a hacer. Is to love God. Es amar a Dios. With all our heart, soul. Con todo nuestro corazón y mente. Mind, mind, body, and strength. Con toda nuestra mente y fuerza. To love Him. Amarlo a él. To know Him. A conocerlo a él. To maybe not fully understand Him. Tal vez usted no lo entiende a él. Maybe desire Him. O usted lo desea a él. That's why I love when we worship together. Eso es lo que yo amo cuando nosotros adoramos al Señor. The presence of God comes in this place. La presencia del Señor viene a este lugar. And I just can't get enough of that. I want y no puedo yo tener suficiente de more and more. Y quiero más y más. And then Jesus said that we should do this. Y luego Jesús dice lo que debemos hacer. That we should love people. Que debemos amar a las personas. And in this we're fulfilling the law. Y en esto estamos nosotros cumpliendo la ley. We're fulfilling all the commandments. Y estamos llenando todos los mandamientos. Because we won't take advantage of each other. Porque no vamos a tomar ventaja de los we'll otros. Each other. Vamos a amarnos los unos a otros. Take care of each other. Vamos a cuidarnos los unos a los otros. Serve one another. Y servirnos los unos a los otros. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are. Uh, I want to pray. Quiero que ore. After we, can we have, where's our Richard at? They're right upstairs, right? Angel, come. No, you're praying. I think he's praying. You're okay. praying for me. Yeah. And, uh, is Carlos here? Yeah, they're Carlos okay. Are okay. Okay. Can we, can they come in here and do that? Um, they've got her laying down. Okay, that's fine. We're going to do communion. So can you have uh, Richard come in here, please? Thank you, Jesus. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I want them, uh, Tina, I would like them to come so we can do communion together. Okay, let's carry. All right. Let's go. Carry her in? Yeah, let's carry. Yeah. Can you